Hey everyone, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to fix your Lenovo ThinkVision M14 so it's not perpetually on standby mode because you know that prevents you from actually using it. So I recently purchased the Lenovo M14 ThinkVision portable monitor to serve as an additional monitor while I travel. And I was pretty happy with its performance to weight ratio. It really is very, very light, um, which is nice when you're traveling. And I'm gonna have it in my backpack like all the time. Uh, when I tested it at home, but was really frustrated when I couldn't get it to work on my first trip where I am right now. And so the problem was that every time I connected my M14 to my Windows 11 laptop, it would flash on, then it would go to standby mode, and then it would go blank, thus making it like impossible to actually use. Now I tried several different cords and a lot of different recommendations from different support forums on Lenovo or Reddit random tech like blogs around um, before finally getting it to actually work um, and actually just typed this post on the M14 now. And let me show you, I've got it, got y'all on the M14. So here's the laptop, here's the M14. I got it in vertical mode and it's working, no standby mode. And so in this post, I'm gonna share how to fix this thing um, using the steps that I think are most useful uh, to actually solve this problem so that you can use the M14 um, and get the most out of it. Okay, the first thing you should do is turn your computer off and on again. Now this might seem like a super dumb piece of advice and like it totally won't work, but honestly, like restarting your computer solves so many different random issues. Um, and it only takes like 30 seconds. So you might as well just try it and see if this fixes it for you. If it does, great, you wasted zero time. Um, get on with your life. Uh, but if not, we can kind of continue on. Okay, so if you restart your computer, that didn't solve it. Um, then the next thing you should check is to ensure your USB cord supports DisplayPort. So this was actually the problem for me. And apparently the cord I used at home to test this, because I got it working at home, but I didn't get it working you know, here on my trip, is that even though it allowed data passing, the one I had at home, it didn't have the right capabilities um, which apparently is DisplayPort um, that is required by the M14. And so there's like a lot of different kinds of USB cords nowadays. Um, and the ThinkVision M14 is particularly picky about the ones that it works with. You'll see all over the forums, people trying all sorts of different things um, and only a select few of the cords actually work with it. And so based on the forums um, and looking at the specs, it seems like what it needs is a cord that supports DisplayPort. The problem is that searching for a USB-C cord that supports DisplayPort is actually kind of a hard search because it's gonna collide with cords that like have DisplayPort connectors, but what we want is a USB-C connector that supports the DisplayPort capability. Um, and so you can't actually search really for USB-C with DisplayPort. So a better search for you is to actually find a cable that supports either USB 4, which is a version of USB, or Thunderbolt, which is a set of capabilities um, that most USB 4s, I believe, uh, now support. Uh, so if you look for either of those, it's gonna give you actual USB-C cords that support this, and both of those support DisplayPort, so it will work as a good proxy. Now, the one that I got that is running the M14 right now um, is the Thunderbolt slash USB 4 USB-C cable from Belkin. I think it'll run you about 20 bucks, um, and it works like a charm. None of my other cords that I had with me uh, on this trip worked, but this one worked, so I can vouch for that one. My guess is that other USB-C cords do work as well, and I'm guessing that USB 3, maybe even USB 2, I'm not sure, um, and lower Thunderbolt versions probably will work, but because I haven't tried it, I can't vouch for it. The only thing I can vouch for is Thunderbolt and USB 4 seems to work. So I would highly recommend checking that. Um, even if you think your cord is like this, go buy a new one from the store that like for sure has this and, and check if that works. Because in the majority of cases, this is actually the problem with the display. Okay, if that doesn't work, then we're kind of getting into like experimental territory for like what could actually solve this. Um, and the really last piece of advice I have is to update your firmware to the latest recommended states. Um, I think this option has the lowest probability of succeeding and also is gonna take the longest for you to do. Um, so it kind of comes in last here. That said, I think it's generally a good idea to periodically update your firmware. Um, so, you know, it's not a, not a bad idea to do this anyway, so, so you might as well. So there's a few things that I would recommend trying to update. First is your OS. So just make sure you're on the latest um, 
standard supported OS, like probably don't go to the bleeding edge of anything, don't get a preview or alpha version, but like whatever the, the long-term uh, support version is, that's probably what you want. There should be an update setting for Windows and Mac if you're on like Linux or something, you know, go, go figure it out with, with your distro. The next thing you should look at is your computer model. So uh, most manufacturers, if they're big enough, um, will have model specific updates available to update their BIOS, to update, update their firmware, um, anything like that. So check your manufacturer website for any updates it has and just update those. Um, I haven't really seen this be the problem with Windows or Mac, but I remember when I was on Linux, running Linux as my main, um, this was often the problem. Um, so go check that out. And then finally, if you've done all those and it's still not working, then you can go check for the ThinkVision M14 drivers for your particular OS. This thing's relatively new, so I think it's unlikely that it's gonna be needing updates to work with this stuff, but it's, it's always worth a shot um, as well. So install all those. You'll probably need to restart your computer um, and it may or may not work. But like I said, I think the, the likelihood of this being the cause is much lower than the cable or you just needed to restart your computer. So hopefully that worked for you. Um, I'm still playing around with the M14 as you kind of saw here, but generally I really like having an extra monitor um, anywhere. I think it increases my productivity by about 30 to 40% just because I don't have to do context switching of going from um, tab to tab or, or window to window. Um, and like I said, I really like how, how light it is. Uh, plus the design makes it really capable of working vertically. As you saw here, I'm using it in the vertical um, orientation and I'm a huge fan of vertical monitors. So I'm really glad that it's able to do this um, kind of out of the box. So that's a plus. If you like this post, you might also like what's in my backpack travel edition, kind of everything I'm bringing with me on the road so I can work remotely um, or make these videos or anything like that. Uh, the M14 will probably be an addition to it. So I'll probably do an updated video sometime, um, but it's mostly the same today. You might also be interested in three ways vertical monitors boost focus and productivity for software engineers. Kind of why I like vertical monitors, why I think they're really good for coding um, and writing and stuff like that. And then finally, you might be interested in why I write online as a software engineer. Why do I make these videos? Why do I make these blogs? And how I think it unlocks understanding, memory, and progress. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.